Hello friends, welcome to my channel, The Invisible Maths Teacher. Hope you all have noticed in my previously uploaded video that how a particular type of proof questions can be proved. Yes or no children? So here I am in front of you once again with another set of proof questions, okay, which are very important part of this chapter, arithmetic sequence. So let us proceed. Here you can see the question. Prove that squares of all terms okay squares of all terms of the arithmetic sequence 4 7 10 etc belong to the sequence again i am repeating to prove that squares of all terms of the arithmetic sequence 4 7 10 etc belong to the sequence that means we have particular terms here 4 7 10 etc what is square of 4 16 what is square of 7? 49. Square of 10 is 100. So they are asking you to prove that those numbers 16, 49, 100 they also belong to this sequence. So I will show you a very easy method to prove this uh, type of questions. Okay. First I am writing the given things. First term is 4. What is common difference here? Common difference is 3. What is A minus D? I showed you this uh, method in my previously uploaded videos. How you can find out the algebraic expression without the formulas. So how much is A minus D? It is 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1. So here we can write Xn is equal to my common difference is 3. So with the 3 I will write N. Okay. 3N and here just 1 means it is plus 1. This is my algebraic expression. Now the second step. What we have to do is. As the question is to prove that the squares of all the terms. So we know this is the algebraic expression for this sequence. Now we have to uh, square this uh, algebraic expression. 3n plus 1 whole square. And you know this is of the form a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square. Here a is 3n. b is 1. What is the uh, expansion of a plus b whole square? It is a square plus 2ab plus b square. a square plus 2ab plus b square. How much is 3 square n square? It is 3 square is 9 and n square is n square only. Now first multiply the numbers. 2 3s are 6. 6 1s are 6 and we have 1 n here plus 1 square is 1. So here you, you won't find any uh, common numbers or you cannot uh, simplify this anymore. Now our second step. It's very important but first step is to square the algebraic expression. Now your second step is to subtract. Subtract first term. Subtract first term from this okay so let us check out 9 n square plus 6 n plus 1 minus subtract minus what is the first term yes we have 4 9 n square plus 6 n how much is 1 minus 4 yes it is minus 3 now what is common here friends Something is common in all the three factors. Yes, here also we can have 3. Here also we can have 3. And here also we can have 3. Okay. So, I am taking 3 outside like this. 3 into 3, 9. 3 n square plus 3 into 2, 6. And we have. Next, 3 into 1 is 3. Hope you understood how I took the common 3 outside. Okay, now here we have 3 into a set of numbers. Yes or no? So what is the meaning of this? It is 3 into particular number means whatever number you are getting inside the bracket, you have to finally multiply with 3. Again, I am repeating whatever be the number inside. Okay, when you uh, put the value for n, you will get a particular number here. When you multiply, finally you have to multiply that number by 3. So that means the final answer is always multiple of multiples of 3. Whatever be the number inside the bracket, 
finally you have to multiply by 3 so i can say the complete set of answer is multiples of 3 and you can find that we have the common difference also as 3 and the final answer as multiples of 3 then yes i can say that the squares of all these terms also belong to the sequence here we have the common difference also as 3 therefore i can say the squares also belongs to the sequence oh yes children now you can see here another uh, similar question that is to prove that okay to prove that arithmetic sequence 5 8 11 etc contains no perfect squares contains no perfect squares okay the previous question was to prove that the sequence contains perfect squares here we have to prove that this arithmetic sequence contains no perfect squares so i want you to do this as your activity okay first you will write down the first term common difference then a minus t and first you find out the algebraic expression so your first step is to find out the algebraic expression then your second step is to find out the square of that algebraic expression using a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square okay square okay and the third step is to subtract first term subtract the first term okay and just check out if you are getting multiples of if you're getting the final answer as multiples of the common difference if you're getting the multiples of common difference so these are the four steps for finding if the uh, for finding whether perfect squares belong to the sequence or not first find the algebraic expression then you try to square them maybe a plus b whole square or maybe a minus b whole square then subtract the first term from that expanded form and then finally check out after taking the common number outside just check out sometimes there will be common number sometimes there will be no common number okay please keep in mind that sometimes there will be common sometimes there will be no common so finally check out if you are getting any multiples of the common difference or not okay if not getting means yes no perfect squares are there in the sequence okay children so please do this as your activity and wish you all the best once again and if you did not uh, subscribe please try to uh, please do subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon for getting the notifications thank you children